Hey guys, welcome back to Exotic Tea Blog. I'm back with another video before we get into this one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so every single time I post, you'll be notified. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, return the subscribers, y'all should keep doing shit for me. And quickly tap the link in the description and also comment section to join our membership. I'll be posting exclusively for only top fans. So if you want to be part of that top fan, tap the link in join. Do not miss out. Let's get into today's tea. Stand up with the queen of rap, Nicki Minaj. Nikki made her comeback on the Pink Friday to Gex City World Tour and it was phenomenal, awesome, and also great. I mean, this tour is a 10 out of 10. This tour it's giving what it's supposed to be giving. So shout out to Nicki Minaj and also shout out to all the Barb supporting. And um, this is the eighth time in a row Nicki Minaj is coming out to sell out her arena tour. So still congratulations to Nicki Minaj and also the Barb's tour um space i think 15 20 000 people are watching the queen of rap so this is a good look and also one good thing Nicki Minaj is doing on this tour that always gets me is the um meet and greet with the fans this is actually great i mean beyonce didn't even do no meet and greet and she had um her tickets on one thousand dollars i mean nikki be doing the most so congratulations to Nicki minaj and i'm loving this whole look for the queen of rap i see why the beehive be upset that nikki is always coming out to converse and also meet her fans and beyonce doesn't do that but she always begs for money from them so there's a big difference between the queen of rap and the alleged queen of music no shit so this is a good look for Nikki and the Barb's and I love being a Barb no shade I love being a Barb because we always gonna converse with Nikki and she ain't gonna insult none of us she ain't gonna call us out moving over from there Agora Hills by Doja Cat has now been played on Nikki pre-show on the Pink Friday to get to the world tour let me know if you feel about this down below I don't think this is a big deal y'all shouldn't make it look as if Nikki's all cheesy and cool with that Demona. Let me know if you about this down below because I feel like um Nikki and the DJ. The DJ knows who and who to play. Um and he knows the dots and he knows the ups. He knows every single person to play. That's DJ Booth. So I mean Agora Hills is being loved by the general public and he gotta play the song. That wasn't Nicki Minaj telling him to play nobody. But then again, Nicki ain't cool with Doja Cat. And she ain't cheesy with Doja Cat. So y'all shouldn't push that narrative of being, oh, Nicki's cool back with Doja Cat. Moving over from there, moving over to the alleged queen of music, Beyonce. So the album is coming on the 29th of March. And fans are coming out to see this album is going to flop. Let me know if you about this down below in the comment section. Do y'all believe on um, her song, sorry, her album, Cowboy Carter, is going to flop or tank? Both of them are seem to know. Let me know if you think the album is going to flop or bop. Because um, fans are coming out to speculate already that the album is going to flop. And allegedly, she has Megan on this album. So, <laughs> let me know if you about that down below too. Because, I mean, um, Queen B, she's going to get payola definitely. Because um, her song, Texas Hold'em. He's already getting multiple of payola. I don't see people listening to that song. So definitely Kamoto is gonna weasel some payola into this shit. Moving over from dead now to the industrial plastic bag begging for Cardi B. She be begging her fans and also payola companies to help her go number one as she keeps putting out too many versions of her song on iTunes. She did put out a new version, Bronx Drill Mix Clean. And also bronze drill mix and um another bronze drill mix instrumental whatever i think this is like a third studio album no shade because you be putting out all these um different versions for your song to go top 10 on the billboard hop 100 charts but i thought you said you was a global superstar this ain't giving this is giving a zero out of 10 for me no shade the song was trash i ain't been seeing that already and everybody not already fucking with the song so let's not act delusional like you be selling the song the song is on discount on itunes i think it was at 99 dollars but i think this time around it's gonna be at 69 cents sorry 99 cents never 99 dollars sorry 99 cents the song are on discount she is crumbling and also begging for the top 10 hits most of the delusion again was coming out to say oh the song potentially after this first week the next week it might go top five y'all really be delusional 
Yes, she's getting radio, but I don't think she's gonna go to a five. No shade. This song doesn't have replay value, and nobody's giving a fuck about the song. Even y'all, y'all don't care about the song. That's why y'all coming out to stream Bodak Yellow. Because if y'all really care about the song, y'all would show genuine love to the song, but none of y'all care about the song. The song is a tr- um is a negative two out of ten for me. No shade to Cardi B and also her budget fans. I don't think the song is giving. And anybody that come down below in the comments to say, oh, I'm just hating, I'm this, I'm that, I'm going to block your ass because we must have our different opinion about the song. Everybody has their opinion about the song. You just got to put your comments and leave the video. If you're not cool with the channel, get fucked off the channel because most of y'all be doing shit. Now, moving over to Megan Thee Stallion. So, Megan finally announced her tour dates and also um, Glorida is going to be accompanying her on the tour. I think Glorida is going to be a feature on the tour, yeah. So, let me know if you about this down below in the comments. I believe the only reason why she carried Glorida to be an opening act or a support on um, tour artist is because Glorilla got that hit song Yeah Glow. So let me know if about this down below. Do y'all think the tour is gonna be successful? I checked the arenas. I think it's gonna be um carrying only four thousand people, five thousand people. Let me know. Do you think this is great for the stallion? Or do y'all think this is a flop to me? I don't think this is great. Like, I thought she said she was going to bring the summer to the fans. So you want to tell me that they are only 4,000 hotties or hot girls in the town? Hmm. Um, This ain't giving. I think this is a flop. And let's see if she can even sell out through 4,000 tickets. Let's see if she's going to get internet love or genuine physical support from the fans. Because we all know Meg the Stallion for sure. She never gets genuine support if she ain't this Nicki Minaj. Let me know if you about this down below. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I'll talk to y'all pretty soon in the next video. And as usual, thanks for watching.